Fans are getting ready for this weekend's neighborly matchup between Chattanooga and the Vols. The last time the Mox beat Tennessee was 1958. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny takes us through the craziness of a game that made history on and off the field. <laughs> The 1958 football season was not a pretty picture for Tennessee. Head coach Bowden Wyatt's young team limped into November with just two wins and four losses. That's when a tough Chattanooga team rolled into town led by future pro quarterback Johnny Green. And the Mox dominated the Vols for their first win over UT in 29 tries. Then Chattanooga fans set their sights on splitting the uprights at Shield Watkins Field. As they tore down the goalposts, the Knoxville police got rough, barging in and hitting fans with nightsticks, wrestling them into paddy wagons. The crowd chanted, turned them loose. Eventually, people started throwing things at the cops. And Knoxville Police Chief Joe Kimsey fired tear gas into a crowd of 1,000 people, including women and children, trying to escape. But the gas only enraged the crowd. <laughs> Knoxville firemen finally stepped in and sprayed the fans with hoses, and the night ended with 10 arrests and eight officers with minor injuries. The fight on the field was over, but a wild war of words was just beginning, with many pointing the finger at Knoxville police, including Hamilton County Sheriff James Turner, who called Knoxville officers poorly trained goons who incited a riot. Knoxville Safety Director David Garrison fired back, saying KPD should have thrown Sheriff Turner in jail and falsely accused him of egging on a riot. So Sheriff Turner filed a $100,000 lawsuit against Garrison and Kimsey for libel and slander. On Chattanooga's campus, around 100 students hanged Knoxville's police chief in effigy. Eventually, things cooled off, and a state lawmaker made a comical effort to prevent any more problems. He introduced a resolution that said Chattanooga has the right to tear down UT's goalpost for the next 50 years whenever the mocks win. And by the time the rematch rolled around next season, everyone had a sense of humor, including Sheriff Turner, who never followed through with his lawsuit. Satisfied with his story of where the goalpost ended up. Turner said they were installed as a footrail at a snack bar beneath the Chattanooga Stadium, where each customer is invited to put your foot on the Vols. In Knoxville, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Little friendly competition. The Vols and Mox are set to kick off at noon Saturday. The gates open at 10. The Vol Walk is set for 945. You can find all the details you need to know about the game in the Tennessee football section of the WBIR app.